Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. And shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. And back at you have another lesson entitled Things Could Be Better, but Things Also Could Be Worse. And what I mean by that title. You know, I'm pertaining it to our current, you know, our current situation, man. You know, our living situation as Jake, especially as Jake that is now coming to the knowledge, you know. Because, um, you know, being in the world as it is, you know, you have it hard, man. Growing up as an Israelite, you know, a lot of us grew up the same council house, two bedroom. You know, whether you have two siblings or four siblings or five siblings, all right, it was just, you know, the the council house and the two-bed flat. And, you know, that was pretty much standard across the board. Now, you had a few, Jake, that, you know, they did slightly better than the rest, you know. But the vast majority, man, we all kind of grew up and <clears throat> lived that same reality. And then now you come in, you know, maybe, you know, you had some time in the world before you came into the truth and maybe you had a certain lifestyle you was able to maintain and keep up with. You know, maybe your bank balance, it looked a certain way. And then now you come into this truth. And then, you know, now, now comes the real test, man. You know, the scriptures say, be patient when thou art changed to a lower state, to rock two and four. All right. But even though we're in this lower state, you know, the heavenly father, you know, he always comes through, man. He always provides for us, you know. And really what is teaching us is to have faith, man. You know, because how many situations have we been in in this walk where we didn't know how we was going to make it out of a certain situation. And we had no choice but to, you know, give it into the hands of the Lord and have faith. And because of our faith, we was able to prevail and, go, and get through that situation, whatever the case may be. All right. So really, it teaches us, really, it boosts our faith, man, to see our power just constantly coming through for us, man. Okay, but we need to, you know, being in this truth, we need to basically be comfortable with being uncomfortable, man. You know, you ain't going to have it like certain individuals you may see out there in the world. You know, um, you're called to suffer. When we came over here to the West, you know, we weren't, we weren't called there to be partying and bullshitting. Uh, we was called there to suffer. Okay, as our punishment. But you got Jake out here, you know, they're doing their own thing and they're living their best life. <sighs> and they ain't really and they ain't really suffering, man. And you know, you know, you're you you're making you're making fun in captivity. Alright. Now that's Jake, man. So anyways, this is 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 6 and it reads, But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Alright, so same way you came into this world, you didn't bring, in, you didn't bring anything into this world, man. It's the same way you leave this world, you ain't going to leave, uh, you know. You gonna, you ain't gonna, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> what's that Drake song, man? When I die, I put my money in the grave, you know, like you're gonna appear before the heavenly Father in heaven with all that money in the grave, man. You know that that's not how it works, okay. And furthermore, your 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 spiritual body, 
you know, it, it functions differently and has different requirements than your, 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 you know, your fleshly body, man. So when you appear in the heavens, like when you're as a spirit in the heavens, you ain't thinking about human pleasures like sex and, you know, money and all of those things. All right. You know, you're in a you're in a different estate. OK. So um, where was that verse eight and having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Yeah, man, because. You know, we, we pretty much just got to be grateful with the, 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 the little, and even sometimes the more that the Heavenly Father blesses us with, man. Because really, you know, we are um, yet this day in our captivity, man. Again, we ain't called here to have a good time. Especially now that you are in this truth, you know, that, that makes it a lot harder, man. Okay, but, you know, that's why the scriptures talk about what? You have to... Uh, you have to fight the good fight of faith, all right? Because, you know, of course, you know, being in this truth, you know, you're fighting spiritual battles and whatever the case may be. But, you know, also one of the main fights you're fighting against is yourself, man. Okay, you're fighting against yourself and, 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 and you're fighting to stay in the truth, you know? Because it's so easy for, you know, the wind to blow one way and that's your ticket out of it, man. You know, like, like I, I say it like that to, to show just how easy it is to, you know, just be taken away by the wayside, man, and, and fall off. That's why we have to pray Psalms 51, man, you know, uh, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. All right. And that's a prayer we all have to pray, man, because we don't want the, the Lord to take his spirit off us. Because if the Lord takes his spirit off us, then, you know, we're, we're, we're through, man. You know, there, there's nothing worth living for. All right. We didn't just come this far to come this far, man. We, you know, we have to fight the good fight of faith and we, we have to uh, 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 st uh, stay the course, man. He who endures until the end, the same shall be saved. All right, that's that's what the scriptures say. And, you know, the scriptures also say how none of these shall fail, man. All right, so so we know that that there's only one way to to, to, to you know, enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. And that's by, you know, enduring until the end okay not that oh yeah you 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 was uh you was teaching for 10 years 20 years whatever the case may be but what what are you doing today because all those 10 years 20 years don't matter if today all you're doing is sitting on your ass man you know the scriptures say what the um uh that the harvest is plenteous but the laborers are few okay there's there's few laborers out here man there ain't, there ain't too many uh, uh, prophets. And at that, yeah, there's a lot of prophets. But there's not a lot of prophets out here teaching the 100% truth, man. There's a lot of naysaying, a lot of false doctrine going around, you know. So, so you know, uh, not every prophet is teaching you that 100% truth, man. And, and it's rare to come across those prophets, man. Because when you're out and about, man. You know, you always, <laughs> like, you got IUIC here in the UK, man. And I saw them uh, uh, during the week last week, man. I, you know, I was driving by. But, you know, those are the kind of people that uh, Jake will get beguiled by and they want to be a part of it. All right. Um, Where was I? Um, First Timothy chapter six. And verse 9, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. Because how many rich people do you know that are just, you know, drowning in many foolish and hurtful lusts? Because, you know, not only do they have those lusts, but they have the, the capital to you know fulfill those lusts all right so that makes you even more wicked you know and that's why man well it says it in verse 10 but you know 
ultimately, those that are rich are going to fall into temptation and the snare, man. And what's that snare going to be? The MOTB. You know, because it's like, well, you want to keep your riches. You know, you don't want to bow down to my will. Then, you know, you're going to have to take that C hip. All right. And that's the snare because, you know, you might be conflicted in the mind. Maybe you, you walked past the camp and they was talking about the C hip and they said not to take it. And then, you know, so much is going on around the world. And then you're facing that question, you know. Um, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. While some, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, man. You know, because, you know, what did the scripture say? He that, um, he that knoweth shall be beaten with many straps or something to that effect, man. You know, because you knew better and you didn't do better. That's why the punishment is going to fall harder on you. Because you, you knew better and you, you chose not to do better. Alright? So, you know, that's why you're going to pierce yourself with those many sorrows, man. And that's why, brothers, we need to learn to be content, man. Having food and raiment, let us therefore be content. All right, because we're going to, everything that we lost on this side, and I know it's hard, man, because I'm a young brother coming up in the faith, and I know it's hard, you know, you got people around you that you grew up with, and, you know, they, uh, you know, maybe when you was in the world, you was doing better, and then now they've just lapped you by a hundred times, and, you know, you, you, you know, <laughs> you know, you, no matter what you do, you just can't seem to get on that level, man, you know, that's okay. All right, that's okay, man. You see, life is, you know, it's all about sacrifice, you know. And we're, we're sacrificing that for, for a greater good. We're, we're sacrificing delay, um, um, instant gratification for delayed gratification in which delayed gratification is always going to be better, man. Okay. So let's read um, verse 10 again. For the love of money is the root of all evil. While some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. And you've got guys that have erred from the faith because of money. So the point is to not, you know, be all beguiled. Uh, so lucky I lost my trail of thought, man. But yeah, man, we're not basically we're not meant to be beguiled by by the riches of this world and and things of that nature, man. Because as we you know, as we read, you know, it, it is um it's a trap, man. It's a snare. Okay. Verse eleven. But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith. <gasps> excuse me, love, patience, meekness. Now, these are the things we should be following after, man. And that's why, see, the elect is a small sanctuary, man, because you, you, you break this down to, to just any nigga in the world that's just after that bag, he's going to be like, nah, man. You see? The elect are, 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 you know, be ye separate, the scriptures say. All right? Verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Alright, so when we do this work, we stay in the spirit, we pray, we go out on the highways and the byways, we are laying hold on eternal life, man. You know, we, we don't want this corruptible crown. We want the incorruptible crown. And that can only be, you know, given once the kingdom of heaven has been established. Okay. So it's about waiting, man. It's about endurance. You know, therefore, um, th uh, you know, therefore, wait ye upon me. All right. <clears throat> Verse 13. 
It's so lucky I'm a little tired. Do bear with me. Psalms 37 and 16. And it's 10.44, man. Right, Psalms 37 and 16. Um, a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. You see? The little that you have is better than the, the riches of, of these carnal-ass people, man. But the true riches is this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, which is going to be able to save us when shit hits the fan. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked Alright, and we need to understand everything we lost on this side, man, we're going to gain in the kingdom a hundredfold. Alright, remember we're called here to suffer, man, but through that suffering, the most high always makes a way out, man. Always. Seventeen, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken but the Lord upholdeth the righteous, you see? So these wicked ain't going to make it, man. You know, what does it say in Proverbs 11 and 4? It reads, How riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. You see that? Righteousness. So righteousness, that's a currency, man. And we, we, each time we do these videos, we go out on the highways and the byways, all right, and things of that nature, we, we're, we're adding to that spiritual bank account and when the time of trouble hits the time of great tribulation we're gonna cash out man you see verse 18 the lord knoweth the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever all right read isaiah 45 and 17 it talks about what world without end all right, Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation, man. All right, these things are all written in the Bible. And what's coming to pass right now? Biblical prophecy. Okay. <clears throat> Verse 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And we're not going to be ashamed, man. See, those of you that are ashamed of Yahweh Shai, he's going to be ashamed of you when, 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 you know, it's time to judge the earth, man. Meaning you ain't getting beamed up in them ships. Okay. We're not going to be ashamed in that evil time. You guys that teach the MOTB is sin, sleeping with white women, you can call the Most High and His only begotten Son, whatever you want to call Him, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. All you guys teaching all that crap, all right, just blatantly teaching that false doctrine, all right, you're, you're going you're gonna to be ashamed in that evil time, man, because all the calamities are going to come upon you and you ain't going to be able to know how to deter it or how to defend yourself and you know you're gonna be through man all right it says the lord knoweth um so they shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied doesn't it say in isaiah 65 and 13 how my servant shall eat but ye shall starve man okay this thing of ours is all about faith how can we not have faith when we look you know uh, in our past situations and we see how the lord has delivered us from from so many different things in which we thought there's no way out man how could we not have faith okay let's go back to first timothy First Timothy 6 and 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power 
who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. You see that? All right. You can't be trusting in uncertain riches, man. And what are uncertain riches? These these paper notes, man. The Federal Reserve note. That's paper money. Okay. And even even uh, you know, the money that's in the bank account, whatever the case may be, that's just numbers on the screen, man. They they don't you know that actually in the grand scheme of things, it actually holds no weight, no value. The only thing that gives money its value is the idea that is valuable. All right, they they sold you a dream, man. They sold you the idea that this paper money has value, but really, if you snap out of the spell that they put you under, you realize that it's really worth fuck all, man. Okay. Um. First Timothy six and eighteen. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may hold, lay hold on eternal life. You see, going back to that eternal life, man, hold fast to thy crown. Hold fast that no man take thy crown, man. This thing is deadly serious, man. Here it is. At the, we're, at, we're at the end. All right. We, we can't have anything or anyone, you know, taking our crown, man. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to Matthew 6. Matthew chapter 6 Verse 19 Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth Where moth and dust doth corrupt And where thieves break through and steal Alright, lay not your treasures up here man I mean down here On earth Alright That corruptible crown Forget it says, but lay up yourselves, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor dust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through or steal. All right. So this shop is looking a bit more interesting, you know. Salakia, you know, as I said, I'm a little tired, man. But yeah, man, we're, we're basically, we're not meant to just try and like, you know, make it in this world, man. Laying up the treasures, trying to have all the riches, trying to have the, the house, the cars, the clothes and all of that. But then being the truth at the same time. I told you that for free. That ain't going to work, man. I told you that for free, man. If, if, if the most high was to give you that comfortable life that you wanted in this world. And still be in this truth, the truth, you ain't going to be in this truth long, man. Because then you're going to get to the mindset of, well, what, why am I doing this for? I'm not really suffering. I'm living here comfortably, you know, doing whatever. You know, why am I here? Okay. But you see, what happens is, when you go without, and that's one thing the hopeful le learns to do, is to go without and, you know, things of that nature... It teaches you to to value things, man. And, you know, we just have to, 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 to be patient, man. Because the things that we're going without, we're going to get an abundance of in the kingdom. And how do we lay those treasures down, you know, up up in, uh, king, in, 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 in heaven? All right, we, you know, we do the work, man. As to our spiritual bank account. All right, do the things pleasing to the Lord. Okay. Um, in turn, we're storing up them treasures, man. Okay. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. 
For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You know, so is your heart in this world or is your heart in the kingdom of heaven, man? Because if your heart is in the kingdom of heaven, you know, pretty much you'll be alienated from this world, man. Eventually. You know? But that's just the part of the, you know, the cross, man. That we have to, you know, our cross that we've got to bear. All right? This is First Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. So it ain't strange that all of a sudden you came into the truth and now you're broke. You know, all of a sudden you came into the truth and, you know, now you're struggling to get a new job or whatever the case may be. All right. It ain't strange. Think it not strange, the fiery trial, which is to try you, man. The Lord puts us through the fiery trial because at the end of it, he wants to see whether our faith is destroyed or whether our faith comes back stronger, man. You know, the scriptures say how without peace is in, uh, you know. Damn, I lost my trail of thought, man. But anyways, man. Again, Salaki, a little tired. Um, verse 13 But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings That when his glory shall be revealed Ye may be glad also with exceeding joy Alright, so When Yahweh Shai is revealed with the holy angels man, We're going to be glad with exceeding joy If we're of the elect Because that's our salvation and, you know, our ticket out of here, man. Okay? And we ain't gonna have to be a part of the destruction of the wicked, man. You know, that's why we pray and hope that we're of the elect. Alright? It says, If ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye for the spirit of the Most High, for the spirit of glory and of the Most High resteth upon you, on their part he is evil spoken of But on your part he is glorified You see so We have to just take the low When we come into this truth man You know people are going to mock at us and, and scoff Whatever the case may be But that's okay man Because we're heading into a time where All that mocking and scoffing You know you're going to wish that Rather than mock and scoff You got right with your how about Shem Yashai Okay Uh, it's a lock, yeah. Right Couple more Precepts And we'll close out man You know I pray this has been edifying man And I'm tired But I really wanted to I wanted to push for this video You know So this is um, Sirach 2 and 1 My son if thou come to serve the Lord Prepare thy soul for temptation man The temptation is going into the hell That you're going to catch Part of the hell that you're going to catch is you may not have it like how you used to have it before. You know, you're, you 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 know, just things may not bang the way it used to bang before, man. And just things of that nature. All right. First two, set thy heart aright, meaning your mind, you know, heart in the Hebrews love. And constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. All right, so we're meant to constantly endure, man. No matter what it is we're going through, whatever, whatever the case may be, we're meant to constantly endure. All right, for he who endures until the end, the same shall be saved, right? Um, where was I? Verse 3 Cleave unto him, depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. All right, so we're cleaving onto, uh, you know, we're cleaving onto this, uh, onto Yahweh Shem Yahshai, man. Okay. Verse four: Whatsoever is brought upon thee cheerfully, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. All right, and there's a scripture in First Thessalonians five and seventeen. It says, um, "In everything, give thanks." But this is the perfect will of the Heavenly Father concerning you. Alright, so we just have to just be, no matter what happens in our life, man, just just the water you have about Shemi Hashai. <sighs> Alright, you know. Um, 
And yeah, man, we just gotta be patient now that we're in this lower state, man. You know, there ain't nothing we can do about it. We're under the curses, we fell short of the glory, and we're getting what we deserve, man. All right. Verse five. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right. So we're being made onto that fine gold. You know, Isaiah thirteen and twelve says, "And I will make a man." Uh, more precious than fine gold, man. Okay. But we first need to be tried in that fire and in the furnace of adversity. And the Lord is basically, what he's doing is he's proving us, man. Like, are we really worthy of this? You know? Man, let me bring out this last preset, man. In Matthew 19 and verse 27 Then answered Peter and said unto him Behold we are forsaken all And have followed thee What shall we have therefore And Yahweh said unto them Verily I say unto you That ye which have followed me In the regeneration When the son of man shall sit On the throne of his glory Ye also Shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Alright. And everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. You see? For Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation, world without end. All right. But you see, we're going to receive everything that we lost on this side. Everything we sacrificed on this side, we're going to receive in the kingdom a hundredfold, man. So, you know, having food and raiment, let us there with be content, man. And, you know, that's to myself first and foremost. And, 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 and you know, if the shoe fits, then yeah, man. All right. So yeah, anyways, man, I'm a I'm a close the video, man. You know, Salaka once again. I'm a bit tired. Well, I'm not even a bit tired. I'm very tired, but you know, I still wanted to push for this video. You know, so Salaka. But I pray, Lord willing, this video has been edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.